Thank you, Nabia. Thank you, Montega. My name is, again, Jonathan Pofus, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. Pofus spelled P-U-L-P-H-U-S. And I will, be, I will be speaking on protest. This movement works to bring attention to police brutality and disparate treatment, which are tools of institutional and systemic racism, tools of the new Jim Crow. Data from Center for Juvenile and Criminal Justice shows that young blacks are killed at a rate 4.5 times higher than any other race or age. More data shows that blacks, while 13% of the population, are victims in 26% of police shootings. Embarrassed by this problem of outcomes resulting from racism and second-class treatment of us, many in positions of power across this country, from political to social apparatus, employ a blame the victim approach rather than addressing causation. This is cowardice and only contributes to barbaric miscarriages of justice and ever negative disparities plaguing our communities across this nation where the blood of black people calls out from the pavement and the dirt underneath. With flight not being an option, we in the movement, in this movement, pre and post August, know we must fight. Our protest, how we are seen and are heard, removes the shroud and frees people to acknowledge institutional and systemic racism. We expose this demon for its cowardice, hypocrisy, and evilness. By targeting institutions and individuals that find it justifiable for entire family trees to have limbs cut off by law enforcement, via politics, deeply ingrained in the history of this nation, we continue to spread our messages of accountability and righteous anger and indignation. We rail against the creation of permanent underclasses in the so-called wealthiest nation on the planet. Until extrajudicial police killings against black people stop, until mass incarceration, until the new system of enslavement is not advanced as the go-to means of controlling our communities and building wealth here, until we are able to build and heal our own communities without being thwarted at every turn, there will continue to be an outcry that is this movement, that is this movement locally, that is this movement regionally, that is this movement nationally. We are aware, we are unafraid, and we are ready. Thank you, Jonathan. Next, we'll hear from Denise Lieberman from the Don't Shoot Coalition.